there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So many, many videos ago, before even planets were out, I drove around in my rather large road train that you can see here, and I did some testing with it. I wanted to do some testing with it on planets today. Actually, that felt a bit of a lie. This is actually my road train. So you can see we've got over three carriages, so that's a really long... No, that's even a lie as well. This is my road train. Now... No, that's a lie as well, because I just don't think these are long enough trucks to test out what I want to test out. It's going to be quite exciting driving these over the terrain. This is my road train. So I've not even counted the amount of carriages that we've got, so we'll quickly do that now. So we've got the truck. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 separate trailers. Now, will this thing even go forward? That is the question that I'm actually wondering at this point in time. So what I'm attempting to do is repace the truck in, but in the opposite direction, because since the other way it was going up the hill, it was making it a little bit harder. Let's see what happens when I spawn it in. Now, this is a little bit hit and miss. Ooh, it looks like we've actually might have got successful. The whole trailer is intact, all 18 trailers. Perfect. Let's see if we can hop in our truck and we can actually drive this thing at any speed worse than sluggish if it's still sluggish then we'll pick a smaller truck and we'll do a little bit more mountain top testing so are our little brakes off handbrake on handbrake off so you can see one of the key sort of problems with it is that we're getting a lot of like bounce within the wheels itself remember the only pro the big problem is that one front truck is trying to do all the pulling so we are getting some grip some sort of friction but you can see them little wheels at the back are working their ass off trying to pull this massive trailer along. That is doing, but it's just doing it at an incredibly slow rate. Now, could we increase this speed by adding more wheels? Yes. Oh, it looks like we're actually getting moving a little bit faster here. So hopefully we don't hit this tree and then just come to a dead stop. So the trailer is moving ever so slightly. So if I go back into F8 mode, my truck should still be pulling. And I should, let's have a look. Yeah, wheels are still pulling along. And I can actually spectate the whole of the column of trailers. So let's have a look what's going on at the back here. So we're getting a very slow amount of movement, but maybe it's like one of them, like a real sort of train when it actually starts picking up speed. Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> look at the angle of that. A little bit of dust from each wheel if I get a dramatic sort of pan across. So we are picking up speed at this point. I wonder what the turning radius of this thing is. It's going to be absolutely appalling, I bet. So look at that going across there. We're going into the shadow of this mountain bit. Like we're actually starting to climb a bit of the hill here. Well, that doesn't sound too good, does it? <laughs> if we could make all the wheels drive, the problem is with making the wheels drive is we need some way of controlling these since they're technically part of a separate ship because they're connected through the rotors. It means that these wheels are actually not functioning in that manner. Maybe these wheels could actually be turned instead of normal wheels into rotor-powered wheels so we can get some more grip, more friction. But we are still moving. It's not the fastest method of transporting supplies around but it's quite cool let's um delete this and we'll switch down to the smaller truck variation and we'll just do some crazy tests i really want to throw one of these off a cliff and just see how it buckles under the pressure so for this final test what i've done is i have stuck some extra thrusters on i'm just going to stick the camera in a rather interesting position so one of the worst situations you can have is i guess go off a cliff in a truck so let's just make that happen so back to the cockpit we're going to use our thrusters so you can see how our speed's actually picking up there um, a lot faster. So there we go. There goes the truck. Oh, let's see what happens. Is it going to hit this bit and break off? Oh, shit. Okay, so we've got that bit broken off. The trailer's all snapping apart as it falls off the actual cliff itself. Oh, look at that bit connected up. <laughs> oh, it's all sparking down at the bottom. Oh, it looks so beautiful indeed. We're going to need some more destructive all oh, sparks going everywhere wheels wheels everywhere oh, i love testing out things like this basically let's um we need to throw it off another cliff just look at this carnage though okay so that's completely wrecked that truck it looks like a scene from like a movie where something went off a cliff you can imagine flying past this in space engineers and you just see yep that driver didn't know what he was doing and you continue on um let's find maybe a different cliff area to throw it off so what I've actually done here is I have paced the massive truck in moving. So I don't know what's going to happen here. It might just stick in the ground straight away. Hopefully it'll continue moving forward at the same pace that I've actually pasted it in. And it'll fly off the edge of the crit. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it's completely everything's broken. Oh, that's not good. Everything seems to have lost a little bit of physics as well to it. So the rest of the trailer is going off in that direction. I just really wanted to see it bend off the edge rather than just fly off in pieces like that. But that's still quite dramatic. Too bad we've just not got enough power 
for the rest of the ship to be pulled off the edge. God, look at that. Imagine if you're at the bottom of this hill and you saw that coming towards you. You've got a lot of explosions, wheels going everywhere, trailers coming apart in multiple places. Just another fun mess that you can make in Space Engineer, I'm guessing. Look at that. More wheels coming off, more trailers breaking apart. A nightmare scenario for any Australian truck driver this is. Look at the spark on that bit. Now it flies over the sun and off towards the moon. Beautiful. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a little bit of experimenting that I was doing with this. And I thought it'd be nice just to show you instead of me keeping it all the fun to myself. Is that a trailer that's gone all this way over here? God, it has. That's massive. It's gone, it's gone way too far down that hill. I probably should have tidied up the other truck crash over this side so the frame rate would have increased. But I just didn't have time and I couldn't find all the wheels. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you.